Hey everybody, in this episode I'm going to talk to you about what led me to create the Insect Hunter YouTube channel, tell you my story, and also talk about how I got involved in entomology. So if you even have an inkling of interest that you might one day want to work with insects as a professional job, or you just want to know about my story and how I got to where I was today, then make sure and watch this episode. So the way this episode is going to work is I'm going to kind of go through parts of my life and how that has contributed to where I'm at today um, and running this channel because hopefully some of you have similar experiences and we can relate and maybe even some of you will be wanting to work with insects just as much as I do. So first off I just want to talk a little bit about my childhood. When I was younger I was always uh, an animal lover. I've had tons of different pets. One of my favorite pets that I've had is baby geese and they actually imprinted on me which was just very fun and enjoyable for me and I feel a strong connection towards animals and just have a love for them and care for them and a desire to interact with them. So that's kind of where my love from animals came from. And so as I started going into high school I found that my favorite classes in high school were video production classes. So while I was in high school um, I basically had to teach myself how to edit videos and uh, write scripts and make different types of videos. Mostly we just made goofy videos. We kind of broadcast a little program out to folks in our local community. But most of the videos were just goofy, crazy, weird things of me trying to be funny and making people laugh. So that's kind of uh, what happened in high school. So. After high school, I went on a mission um, for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was in Mexico for two years, and the reason I say that is because I'm fully fluent in Spanish, so I'm more than happy to answer folks' questions in Spanish. And also, uh, after I finished my mission, I went and got my bachelor's degree in Spanish education um, to teach in high schools and I thought man this would be just awesome to be able to do this because I loved Spanish um, while I was on my mission and I loved helping people so I thought man I, I should be a teacher so I got my degree in secondary education so um, while I was getting my degree at BYU Idaho I did a lot of improv comedy so I got a lot of experience acting and being crazy and really just improvising and learned a lot about drama. That was more of just a volunteer thing that I did, but that was one of my favorite highlights of being um, at BYU-Idaho, which is an awesome school. So while I was there at BYU-Idaho, I talked with one of my leaders, one of my advisors, and I told him that the reason I started working on Spanish education is because I didn't feel like zoologist had a job. So a zoologist is a person who studies animals. My feeling over time has been people that study animals, there are not that many jobs actually doing that. So what he told me is he kind of said this joke. He says, um, what do you call a zoologist with a job? And then he said, Entom an entomologist. So I thought, I really thought about that and then I talked to him about it and I was like, are you serious? Are there actually people who get to study and work with animals and is this much more likely if you're an entomologist? So he talked to me and he convinced me because he was an entomologist and he said, you should uh, study entomology and work with insects. You should really look at this because this could be a possible career for you. So I talked with him and he knew an individual at Purdue University and um, he hooked me up so that I could go do kind of a paid internship there. And when I got to Purdue, one of the things that I was asked to do is um, create videos about collecting insects, which he didn't even know, um, my boss at Purdue, that I had all this experience doing video and experience with education and developing um, educational programs for folks. So when I heard about that, I was extremely excited. I got really into it and I started creating the Insect Hunter video series and as you can see from the videos they're much more geared towards kids um, and not for adults because of how crazy and wacky and goofy they are. That isn't to say some adults enjoy that. I've had a lot of people say that they enjoy that goofiness um, but the original reason they were made that way is so that kids would get engaged and become excited about insects and I hope that's what you feel about my channel is that 
collecting insects and learning about insects and interacting with them is awesome and exciting and something that you want to do because that's what I'm trying to do. I want you to get involved and become part of this because I had no clue that any of this existed. When I was much younger as a kid, I wish I would have known about insect collecting and becoming an entomologist and all of these things because I just love it so much. It's so much fun. It's exciting. So um, after I did my internship at Purdue, I came back out here, out to the Rocky Mountains, and I found my wife and I got married. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the engagement video and how goofy I was in that, but I, uh, I got married and then uh, we decided that we were going to go to Texas A&M University because we were offered um, to do a master's there in entomology studying insects. So I was super excited about that because um, a big focus of my work there was to develop educational programs about insects. So as you've seen on my channel, there are some videos about different types of insects. And those are insect uh, pests that cost millions and billions of dollars, a lot of these insect pests. So that's why an entomologist has a job is because so many people out there don't like insects and they cause so many problems for humans so that's why there's so many jobs in entomology compared with other groups like an ornithologist or um, well ornithologists study birds or someone that studies mammals just because they don't affect humans that much compared to the amount of effect and impact that insects have on humans so that's why if you want to study animals and you're thinking I don't know if there's that many jobs in this, or maybe you're so naive and you think, oh, there's millions of jobs, millions of people are studying animals. Uh, that's not the truth, but if you're studying insects, then there's so many jobs. And Texas A&M University was an awesome university to be able to get my master's degree um, in entomology. I loved working there and the professors and everybody there was awesome. So it's a great option for you and they have a huge entomology department. There were hundreds of students there that were studying insects and doing research on insects. So it's a great university and definitely one that you uh, can look into if you're thinking about entomology. Um, but um, part of that research there was focusing on media and how to make um, better trainings for folks using videos. So that's kind of the research that I did. So it's not your traditional entomology degree, but I also got to work with insects and do different tests on them. And I learned a lot while I was there about instructional design. And while we were there at Texas A&M University, we were able to have a baby. Um, you've probably seen him on a couple of my videos. Um, and that definitely uh, is a great blessing for me and my wife, but it also makes things a lot busier and a lot more crazy um, for us. But it's exciting to have a baby in our family and start off our family and start teaching him about insects. He actually uh, is always picking up insects um, at the house we're living in right now. He's just picking up lots of little bugs and he puts them in his mouth and uh, especially flies and things. It kind of grosses me out, but I'm just like, hey, yeah, that's a bug. And he loves to say, ba, ba, ba. That's how he uh, says bugs. So I'm already getting him uh, indoctrinated in insects and he's seems to like them a lot. And I'm trying to not let my wife make him too scared of them or spiders and things so that he is um, a future insect hunter and maybe he can come along with me in my adventures as he gets older so we'll see what happens but right now what I'm doing is I'm working as a part-time um, program aide for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension so Extension is a part of the government that takes research that scientists are um, producing and then they translate that research into programs that um, everyday people can use, especially like farmers or homeowners and other folks. So that's part of my job right now is translating scientific principles into programs and educational videos and other things so that folks can get access to those materials. So while I'm out here in the Rocky Mountains, I'm looking for a career in either instructional design, multimedia development, or as an extension agent. So I'm working on that right now, and 
as I do get into a full-time career, there will probably be some changes with the channel. I don't know how it will affect the videos or how often we post, but there will probably be some changes for sure. Um, but as for the future of the channel, I'd like to start buying some of my own equipment. I want to continue to put the focus on collecting insects and really just having an adventure. That's why I rebranded the tagline to say, Big Adventures Start Small. So that's really going to be the focus um, from this point on, and we'll see how things change and develop as we go. One cool thing that happened about a month ago is that I was contacted by a media group in California and they had the idea of having me be the host of a TV show going out and collecting insects and uh, doing that for a TV show. So they've been pitching this to different um, TV channels but at this point we haven't been able to find someone that's interested enough. So of the different groups that this uh, idea was pitched to there's one called Litton Media and they do a lot of like Saturday morning shows about animals and the natural world and different things and they're interested but um, we would have to find a sponsor so if any of you out there are millionaires and want to uh, put some money towards uh, sponsoring a TV show having me be the host just let me know but that's probably not gonna happen maybe in the future there will be the opportunity to make a TV show and do something uh, much bigger than the YouTube channel but for now I'm content with uh, all the subscribers that I have and how this channel has been able to grow. I know it's not the biggest channel but I feel like it's very focused. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing about your adventures with insects and I love it when you guys ask questions because I'm all about wanting to help you guys become more educated about the world of insects and getting you excited so you can go out and collect. So hopefully this has been a meaningful uh, story for you guys. So I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for bearing through this. I know this has been very long, but I just wanted to share with you guys kind of my story, where I've been and kind of where I'm going at this point. And we'll see what happens with the channel. I love having you guys commenting and asking questions and wanting to learn more about insects. It's fun to get to know all of you guys through the comments and questions and hopefully one day I'll be able to meet uh, some of you guys in person as well so eventually if this thing goes even bigger that would be awesome but if it doesn't then I'm just gonna keep doing my best to produce stuff for you guys so that you can keep tapping into the awesome world of insects so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs>